What's up guys? So today we're going to be talking about smart switches. What's up guys? My name is Shane. On this channel, I'm slowly turning my home into a smart home using HomeKit enabled devices. I'm trying to do it all without breaking the bank. So if you're into that, consider subscribing. Um, I'll take you along and show you some of the things that I'm doing on my journey with this smart home stuff. So it's 2019 and I'm finally going to put some smart plugs in. When I first started getting into smart home stuff, I got one of the starter packs with some light bulbs. And those are cool, but people still use the switches, at least in my house all the time. If you're living in a house with other people, we're still going to use the light switches. Best thing to do is just replace the light switches. So what are the best smart plugs to use with HomeKit? Well, I did a lot of research and uh, there's all kinds of options out there, really cool stuff. The ones I went with are the Caseda wireless smart switches made by Lutron. From everything I found, these are just the most reliable. I've had these installed for a little while and they just work. They work all the time. They've been around for a really long time. They work with HomeKit and so that's what we're putting in. There's tons of videos on these smart switches, so I'm not really gonna get into the weeds on how to install them because there's lots of videos on that. But I did wanna show you how you can mix smart switches with um, dumb switches. So I've got a lot of switches in my house and if I replace them all right away, it would be way more money than I'm trying to spend right now. Like for example, I've got one switch that I wanted to uh, change out to be a smart switch. It's in the same panel as two other switches. Well, I don't need to redo all those to smart switches right now. One of them controls the back porch light. I don't need that to be smart right now. Uh, I didn't really feel like spending an extra $50 for that one. So I'm gonna show you how you can mix smart with dumb ones. Lutron actually makes all kinds of switches. Um, that's what they did before the smart stuff. So you can purchase these regular switches for like five or six dollars, something like that. They sell the panels. Um, you can kind of mix and match. You don't wanna replace all your switches right away. So eventually I probably will, but something I'll just gradually do and kind of get some here and there and start changing them out that way. So a couple things that um, I was looking for is one, obviously it's gotta work with HomeKit. These switches do work with HomeKit. And the second one is they needed to work in three-way switch situations. Got a lot of those around my house. The way these work, uh, if you haven't seen, they actually sell these little Pico remotes. Essentially this just wirelessly connects to the switch that you install. They come with these little plates so you can actually kind of just mount these. It's got sticky tape. You can kind of mount these anywhere or uh, if you have a switch box and a three-way switch situation you can they sell a little bracket um, that you can buy to put this in and then you can just uh, use this to kind of tie off those wires to that second switch and just use this in the place of that second switch. So I can do those multiple switches um, to control a single light fixture. All right, so let's take a look at everything in the box. This right here is what we'll be installing. This is the starter kit. This comes with the bridge. So all the switches will connect to the bridge, the Pico remote. Some dumb switches that we'll use that I didn't want to replace um, with smart switches. And so over here, I'm going to switch out this first one with a dumb switch. Um, this just controls my out, outside light, which right now I don't care for it to be smart. I'm just going to put the dumb switch there because I need one to fit in the new uh, bracket. Over here we're going to do the first smart switch. And then right here will be the next smart switch. Once we get those on, um, we'll test it out, make sure everything works, and then we'll go ahead and put on the wall plate. And next we'll move over to the other light switch and we're gonna do that real quick. There you go. That's a good way to start um, changing out some of your smart switches without breaking the bank. Just do a couple here and there, the ones you really want to get started with, you know, and then slowly add on to it. 
add some dumb switches in there if you need to. If you're using some other smart switches with your home kit setup, let me know what you're using. I'm interested to know what works for you and what you guys like. I'll be doing a lot more videos like this, more home kit stuff. So subscribe if you're into this. I want to check out my journey, turning my home into a smart home using home kit. All right, see y'all next time. Later.